Is this thing on? Hey guys, what is going on Booster Kings here with another Pokemon video and in today's video we have episode number two of If I Owned a Store. And if I owned a store, I would definitely have some sort of mystery power box because I know how much people desire them. People love them so much as well as I do and I know that people will want to buy these and if I own a store I would definitely sell something like these around the $20 mark maybe a little bit less maybe a little bit more depending on what I put in them but I have included five booster packs in these plus one mystery pack in every single one and the mystery pack I've chosen for these couple is a Dollar Tree pack. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's not that exciting, but just while I don't have the really, like, a lot of mystery packs, it could be any sort of mystery pack. It could be a vintage pack. It could be anything like that. And then everything else in this box is a mystery. Is a mystery. The EX card, the boost packs inside, they do have the new Crimson Invasion, but we will be opening up one of these today. So hopefully you guys do get enjoyed. Make sure to put on your seatbelts and sit down in your racing chairs. And then let's get into this. I cannot wait. So make sure to leave a like, leave a dislike. If you guys don't enjoy it, let me know in the comment section below why. And yeah, let's get straight into this. Let's choose one at random. Got the eyes closed like the mini booster box the other day. So hopefully you guys do enjoy that one. And let's open up this one right here. So we'll put off. I still haven't looked, we'll put those ones off to the side, and let's open up this one. The Charizard GX. Oh, the Charizard GX. Definitely loving this one. Check that one out. It looks absolutely, what am I doing? It looks epic. I cannot wait to see what is actually inside, because I made these up the other day, and I cannot actually remember. So, let's get into this one. We'll open it like all... I. I love making these because I love the fact, I, lo I love this style of openings just because I don't know what's in it. You guys don't know what it, what's in it and it's just exciting because we don't get mystery power boxes. So I say we, meaning myself and Brody because they're the only poker chips I know in Australia, but we, are, we don't get these. So let's just get into this one. We have the first pack, we have a Guardians Rising. Second pack, we have a, another Guardians Rising. Okay, so we are going for the DCE, it looks like. Third pack, a Burning Shadows. Okay, awesome. Fourth pack, a Sun and Moon base set. Fifth pack, oh, there's our mystery pack. That is the Dollar Tree Evolutions pack. It looks like there's seven packs in here. So, we have a lucky seven. Two Crimson Invasion. So we have Lucky Seven. What else is in here? We have a pin. A pin. A Mimikyu pin. See what I mean? Like, I thought there was five packs, but there seems to be seven. So we have a Lucky Seven Mystery Power Box opening. I absolutely love that. Maybe I did that because I enjoy Lucky Number Sevens. And then we have, of course, that promo on the front. We have that Charizard. Lucky number seven. Oh, that is awesome. That that definitely rings rings a bell. I like that. I like that. Number seven is my favorite number. I don't know about you guys, but it seems to be the most luckiest. But we have the Charizard GX. This one's from Burning Shadows. It looks awesome. Let's put that one in the back. Then we have our seven booster packs, including one Dollar Tree pack, which we will get out of Get out of the way first. These come with three cards in them. And the card trick is one to the front. So this one, or one, and then one. So let's go. We have a Ghastly, a Poliwell. Let's focus that one in. A Poliwell and a Magnemite. So we didn't get anything in that one. That is okay right there. Good old Dollar Tree pack. And then let's shuffle these ones up because... Just because. Why not? Why the heck not? 
All right, let's go in that order. Let's go with Crimson Invasion. First up, hopefully you guys do end up leaving your suggestions in the comment section below of what would you make customly in a store? What would you sell customly in a store? Would you sell these? Would How much would you sell them for? I don't know, seven packs or six packs Around about 30 bucks. So yeah, probably around $30. I would I would probably put this around. Maybe a little bit more, depending on what sort of packs that you put inside. But it'd be around the $30 mark. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. Let's get into it. We have a Kakuna, Kakuna Matata, a Selgor, Nummel, and a Kamo -o 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 -o. Lots of Kamo's. But that was the first pack. I can't even remember what pack that was. What pack was that? Is that a Burning Shadows? I don't even know. No, it's a Guardians Rising. Are we doing two Guardians Rising in a row? Jesus, what am I up to? There's another booster pack. Or oh, another, another online booster pack, I should say. Four and then two, and let's go. We have a Murkrow, a Sandit, a Nosepass, a Talo, Rockrath, a Energy, Brooklet Hill, a Seligu, a Energy Lotto, a Nose Pass Reverse Hollow and a Probo Pass Regular Rare. Just a regular rare right over there. And that last pack was Crimson Invasion. I definitely did forget about that. We have a Sun and Moon Base Set Booster Pack. Let's go. Come on, Ultra Ball. I've only pulled two of them in existence and that was out of like two and a half boxes. It's actually insane. But let's go, we have a code card. Four and then two, and let's get into this one. We have a Chinchow, a Togodimero, a Kavana, Pigapec, a Sandile, a Energy, Team Skull Grunt, a Poison Barb, Charger Bug, a Litten Reverse Holo, and come on! A Incineroar. Did we get the... Oh, we didn't get the Tora Cat. Oh well. We almost got the whole evolutionary line. Almost. Let's go. Burning Shadows up next. Let's see what Burning Shadows can bring us. Come on. Let's get something good out of this one today. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. I really, really want to hear your uh, constructive criticism in the comment section because I will read all the comments and let's get this channel back to where it used to be, back to what we used to do. We have a Lolan Rattata and a Beware Regular Rare. Come on, almost through all of these packs. Come on, Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. Will you bring us the goods today? Let's go, there's another code card for you guys. Four and then two, and let's go. We have a Phantom, a Helioptile, a Beldum. Tentacle, a Clefairy Energy, a Weeping Bell, a Fletchender, Saligu, a Whale Lord Rare Reverse Holly, and a Requaza Regular Rare. Just, just, just the old regular rare over there. Alrighty, alrighty, we are on to the last pack, which has Katana on the front. So let's rub it, let's kiss it. Let's rub it some more. Let's rub off the saliva. Ew, gross. Gross. Yeah, why would you do that? And let's get into this one. Let's shred it to pieces. Come on, let's go. Come on. Four and then two. Yep, there we go. And let's get into this one. Come on, let's do it. We have a Dino, a Stay, a Pumpkaboo, a Stuffle. Energy, a Haunter, a Fighting Memory, a Hakamoto, a Sizzazzle, and a Silvalli GX! Yes! Yes! And that was a rare reverse holo as well. Yes! Last pack. Last pack. Last pack. A Silvalli GX. That is awesome. That is really awesome. And this fighting memory, if you put this on this, it'll turn a fighting type. So that's pretty cool. Oh, thank God, that was epic. Thank you, Arceus. You are listening to our prayers. Let's put that one over there. 
Thank you all for watching. If you guys did enjoy this second episode of If I Owned a Store, what would you put in a store if you owned it? Leave your uh, or leave your comments in the comment section below. This one was Mystery Power Box Edition. And without further ado, I think I'm going to get out of here. If you guys aren't here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I will be back hopefully every single day, so stay tuned. And without further ado, I think I'm going to get out of here. And I'll see you guys in my next Pokemon adventure video. Let's go. Let's go. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Peace out.